in tools, yeah. all his might into a car window of a it sounded like a bomb. Boom! I see a police car, and I see two police cars. Then I see ten police cars. My life ruined, and I just wanted a donut. What's up, my Stygian Films crew? Welcome back to another Stygian Films story time with your man, Jabril. And by the way, I just wanted to say that I love making these videos for y'all. And I think that y'all gonna enjoy these next stories that we got coming right up for y'all even more. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So this story takes place around my earlier years in high school. And at that time, if you watched the last story times, you would know that back then I was always at the YMCA after school. Every single day I was there trying to become the best basketball player I could be. Back in those times, they used to say, you know the Y is born with your brill not even there. Because that's how dedicated I was to being there faithfully every single day until I got better. But on this particular day, there wasn't a lot of people around. It was kind of slow. Not too much was going on in the gym. The few amount of people who were there were just trying to get a game going with the little amount of people. Just to get rid of the boring atmosphere. I myself even was thinking about leaving and going home. Which I hated because I knew as soon as I stepped foot into the house, it would have just been even more boring for me. Now, normally I would play basketball at the gym until it closed, come back home a little after 10 p.m., and then just be so tired that I fall asleep without even doing my homework. Then, wake up the next day and try to do all my homework before getting to each class. Now, I know, it, it was not a good strategy at all. Uh, a horrible, horrible habit to pick up, in fact. So knowing that, I figured I'd call it a day. Stop being immature and go home. Do something more constructive, like my homework. So as I'm shooting around thinking about this, one of the few guys that was in there walks up to me and says, Yo, bro, want me to Dunkin' Donuts? So my first thought was, bro, you're a grown man. What you need me to walk you to Dunkin' Donuts for. Then he says, I'll buy you something. I corrected myself immediately. He was clearly a grown man who may need assistance eating some of that good old Dunkin'. Now, let me clarify that I did not grow up in a rich family at all. We've came a long way financially, but in those times, we didn't have money to spend on all the foods that we wanted. The cabinets wasn't necessarily full. It wasn't often that we had delicious meals that we wanted, but like I said, I have a lot to thank God for, and it's been better since. We were just going through trials back then. So, with that being said, you can see why I wasn't trying to pass up this opportunity to get some free grub. He then goes on to tell me that he got this Dunkin' Donut card that has a lot of money on it, and we could split once we order. He tells me that it wouldn't be nothing long, which I trusted because there was a Dunkin' Donuts literally three blocks down from the Y that we were at. Then he tells me to get our bags quietly so no one noticed that we are leaving because he's not trying to share with a whole bunch of people and they find out that we're going to Dunkin' Donuts. It sounded like an excellent plan. I was happy that he entrusted me with such secrets and of course I was down to help. So I ended up getting my bags quietly because I know I was just going to go straight home afterwards anyway. Then I noticed he was talking to some other dude a lot while he was getting his stuff. I was trying to figure out why he was talking to this dude and not just trying to leave without being detected by him. Now, let me just say that from this point, here's where the big amount of red flags come in. You let me know which would have been the one that makes you quit while you're ahead. So just get to counting, y'all. We walk out the door with our bags and he says to both of us, all right, I'm ready. Come on, we out. I look at him like, ooh. Who's we? You didn't tell me you were bringing someone else. He's, he's actually coming with us. Then he assures me that it's cool and there's still going to be enough for all of us to eat. Why did I like that he was bringing another person? Well, number one, because it made no sense on why he wanted me to come so bad if he's just going to bring another person who was willingly coming anyway. And two, because that's less food for me. So we had to like split three ways instead of two now. Anyway, I brush it off. Who cares? Because it's only one extra person. Maybe maybe I'm just being greedy. We're approaching Dunkin' Donuts. And before we get too close to it, we make a right turn. So I'm like, yo, why are we, why are we turning? 
the Dunkin' Donuts is literally right there. And he says that he wasn't going to go to that one. He was going to go to one that had what he wanted. So now I'm like, what you mean? It's all the same Dunkin' Donuts. They serve the same stuff. It's the same company, dog. What are you talking about? He tells me the other one is near his house and that he got to go there to pick up the card for the food. So now I'm just debating. Is it is it really worth it? God tell you, I just heard God talking to me, you know? You ever just get that that little voice in the back of your head that's like, Listen, bro, just go home. It's a bad sign. Clearly, this is probably not going to go the way you thought. It's probably going to be some bullcrap. Just go home and do your homework. And I'm debating with myself, like, is it really worth it? I really wasn't trying to get this off course, but it could be quick. Then I'm like, maybe I'm just girling, you know, it's, it's going to be quick. I don't know what Dunkin' Donuts around his way, but it's probably not going to be that long. So I stay and continue on the journey. As we're walking, they end up saying, yo, bro, you trying to play knockout? Other dude is like, I'm down. Y'all just got to actually do it. Y'all can't be scared. They end up teasing each other on who's going to be too scared or who's not going to be scared. And I'm just like, yo, what's knockout? They're like, you never heard of knockout? It's this game where you basically got to do something crazy, right? And the other person got to top it with something crazier or else you lose. So I ask them, like, truth or dare, but without the truth? Then they're like, kind of. But instead of someone else telling you what to do, you're just deciding what you want to do to top it. So after they're done explaining it, they ask if I'm down. I say, of course, I'm not Sounds stupid. I let them know I'm strictly there for the donuts and that I will be on my way once I get it. So the guy I'm there with, he was supposed to start first. As we're walking, he was acting a little nervous and like he didn't know what to what to do. I think he ended up just going up to a random person and asking if he knew someone named Deanda. And then the guy was like, Deanda who? And he's like, Deanda, these nuts? Or he probably just didn't do anything. I can't really remember. Anyway, even if he did, it wasn't nothing super crazy. So eventually we come up to his house and he goes inside to get the card that he was talking about. He comes out and says, now we're still playing knockout. So y'all got to do something now or else I win. And I'm just like, well, I'm not in it. So I don't know what to tell you. I just want these donuts and then I'm out. And as I'm talking to him, I noticed that the other guy picks up a half-drunken Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee that was just laying on the floor outside. And I'm just wondering why he's picking up some random dirty drink. Then the guy with the donuts car lets him know that it's his turn to go and he has to think of something or he loses. And then he starts teasing him saying that he's scared and stuff. And in my head, I'm just still wondering why is he holding a random iced coffee he found on the ground outside? And right when I'm thinking, is he going to drink it or something? That's nasty. He runs ahead of us. And we're just like, oh, why is he just, why did he run off? And so we're trying to figure out why he just run off. Dude runs to the corner of the street and throws the iced coffee with all his might into a car window of a car that was driving by. When I tell you, I, it sounded like a bomb. Boom! Ice everywhere. Coffee all on the windshield. I was out. Speedy Gonzalez out as fast as I could. I went to the cut of this small block and just stopped running because I realized that I would, I would, I would look too suspicious because I'm running. I'm look like a, like I'm one of them. I'm with them doing all this stupid stuff and I'm not. So I start. I get to speed walking, you know, thinking how crazy that got so fast. I remember seeing the older white lady. I made contact with her who was driving the car and she was with somebody else. And I couldn't help but think that as soon as the iced coffee hit her windshield, the car slammed on brakes. She was probably in shock. That's probably why. While I'm thinking that, I just hear, yo, bro, wait up. I turn around, and it's the guy with the Dunkin' Donuts car. I'm looking at him like, what is wrong with y'all? I'm telling him, stop following me. He said, nah, bro, that's not me. I wasn't even trying to do all that. He's tripping. And I'm like, what you mean? You're the one who said, let's play that dumb game knockout. 
I'm just trying to get away from that whole situation at that point. I do not hang around people like this. So it just felt crazy. And as we're going back and forth, we make a right turn to the next block. I see a police car. Oh. Then I see two police cars. Then I see three police cars. Then I see ten police cars lined up. Then I look up. And guess what I see? An entire police station. You mean to tell me that this man did this dumb crap right in front of the headquarters of the police department? My life has the potential to be ruined. And I just wanted a donut. All this over Dunkin' Donuts? <sighs> we had no idea where the other guy even went. I could just hear God talking to me. Like, look, my son. I gave you four red flags. Four warnings. If anything happens to you, it's your fault for not listening. He kept trying to convince me that he swore that he didn't intend for the game to get that crazy. I was just trying to let him know that I'm going home. Then he says, come on, bro. Don't leave. It's literally right there. As he points to Dunkin' Donuts across the street. Now, y'all already know that people clearly see that some things are worth it and some things are not worth it. People would leave before they press their luck and just go home. That's just what people do. But then I got to thinking. <laughs> I do feel like <laughs> I did feel like I deserved this victory. I mean, like how I was thinking about it. This is the end of the journey. All the battles led up to this point, and I'm not even going to take my trophy that I deserve? I, I didn't just get up here. I, I worked for this. So if I get arrested, I might as well do it with a full stomach, you feel me? <laughs> like I had gotten myself so hungry thinking about the donuts from the whole walk and just telling myself it's going to be okay because eventually you're going to be eating the donuts. So at this point, it was easy for me to not think rational. Plus, the other dude ran off, so... I was thinking I'd be more of a fool for me, you know, go right back to normal how it was supposed to go. And it was right there. I was looking right at it and it was across the street. So I just said, screw it. Let's, let's go. <laughs> so we finally enter the heavenly doors of Dunkin' Donuts. And let me just say, at this point, I felt like I was just using this person. You know, I just want the donuts. So. That smell of coffee smacked us right in the face. I had never been so excited to be at Dunkin' Donuts before. Then he goes to order and says what he wants, which was just hash browns and a juice. So I'm like, hey, you know I man, shoot, that's more for me. You know, like, <laughs> you don't want to get a whole bunch. Maybe you're just not hungry, but I am hungry. So he asked me, what you want, bro? And I'm like, <laughs> You know, right? You know, I want some donuts, a big box of donuts, you know. And as I'm telling him, I see that he pulls out a funky, crumbled, did I say funky, five dollar bill and says, which one though? I have been finessed. I ordered my one donut. Took me no no more than 15 seconds to eat it. He asked me if I wanted some of his hash browns. Gives me like two tiny hash browns. Now I'm feeling dumb. Mouth dry. Dignity erase, bruh. He then tells me. We, yo, we gotta go look for the other dude because I don't know where he ran off to. Hopefully, he's all right. And I look at him and say, Ah, you gotta look for the other dude. Ah, you tricked, you tricked me. You tricked me. I wanted donuts. I, he used me, and I guess I was using him, sure, but I was more justified in using him for what I wanted. Still can't figure out why it was such a need for me to go there with him. So, I end up telling him that I'm going home. 
and I leave and walk home. And I enter the house and go to sleep. The moral of the story, though, is don't let greed blind you. Because once you're blind, you lose focus and your sight, which leaves you vulnerable to run into a juicy problem. And whenever you hear that little voice in your head, listen to it. Because I guarantee you that your conscience will never lead you astray. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Smash that like button. And if you enjoyed this story, share it to a friend. Comment your thoughts. Turn that notification bell on. And above all else, subscribe. Like literally right now. You might as well get out the way. Anyway, y'all be safe. Stay out of trouble, guys. And be cool. Stiger Films out. You wonder why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down. Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. Top of the slave ship. Popped up my chain and took it to Jacob. I gotta go play this. More than that bitch like, nigga, we made.